nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? And welcome to die. What? This is Magneto and his badly translated uh, arcade outing. <laughs> Why are you talking about Magneto? Because the question is, do you nerd for... Da -da -da! Or did we decide? Which one are we doing? <laughs> I, I forget. Who was who was X-Men? What if we do this? <laughs> we'll just do this. So this is the... It's Marvel Collector Core. But this is not a monthly box. No, this is a bi-monthly. Bi-monthly in relevance to every other month. Yes. <laughs> That's very confusing. But this theme is X-Men! And we're Look teeny tiny X-Men fans. X -X -X. Just, just a little bit. Just a bit. <laughs> so, should we see what's in it? Absolutely. Because I want to see what kind of goodies they have sent us for our favorite Merry Mutants. And, you know, if you're an X-Men fan, you probably already know that. But did you know that that's what they were going to call X-Men? Merry Mutants? Yeah. That's dumb. <laughs> well, first and foremost, we have a sticker stuck to my finger. We have a little wolvy. Funko Pop pin. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It is cute. We got one of these a little while ago. I believe it was Rocket. So. I That's think. right, because uh, it was a Groot notepad, wasn't yeah, it? Was, Which yeah. was kind of terrible. Yeah. So, yeah, it was making you write on him. Literally. It, you know, and this is perfect because who hasn't had a bunch of pins and pencils and, and been Wolverine anyway? Yeah, so you can just, no, <laughs> you're suffocating it. There you go. <laughs> Now it's like a scene out of uh, Doctor Strange when his hands became hands and then hands and then hands. Hey, Bob, you want to write that down? Because Wolverine's here to help. <laughs> okay. The next thing we have in here is it says adult. So, what do you think the adult is? It's an inflatable X Man adult that can just hang out in your house. No, they're beast socks. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. How cute, look! See, little blue beastie toes. That's very cute. <laughs> they're really soft, too. Now, I don't want to see a bunch of footprints on the ceiling. And there's a little blue X on them. <laughs> so, I, I guess technically they don't have to be B. Would they, would they also work for Nightcrawler? No, he had I, more hooves. Or he had like, less toes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They look like little Muppet feet. Got the little Muppet feetsies. X feet, X feet, da 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 da. Those are adorable. Feel how soft they are, though. I like those. Those are gonna that's, be handy when it's cold. That's pretty clever. That's awesome. And <clears throat> we're very gracious that they skinned a beast. Oh, that's a horrible <laughs> thought. <laughs> All right, the next thing in the box goes along with the Wolverine pin. Good. It is Xavier's School for the Gifted Youngsters. It's like a little, like, notebook or journal or doodle book or whatever you want to want to call it. And it doesn't look like there's anything inside it. Not like, you know, a couple of, you know, how some of the books will have a couple of pages illustrated or something or in the front. Or something in the background. Yeah, very it's faint. just lined notebook and it's, you know, kind of like flimsy and everything, so... Now, what's it's really this, cool, though, it's a nice, it's not too big, it's not too little. With this, I, I do like uh, how, you know, malleable it is, how easily it bends, because this could be something that, you know, you could shove into your, your purse, your backpack, yeah. your pocket. Um, and I do like this cover, that, that gold on black, it looks really nice, but I'm not going to lie, personally, I'm tired of notebooks from mystery boxes. Yeah, um, it's the cop-out. Enough enough notebooks honestly the only notebook i have liked and i have actually been using it is the one i got for my deadpool crate the one that's a little one and it's hard and it's got a <clears throat> a like an elastic band around it to hold it shut and a deadpool metal uh bookmark in it i've actually have been using that one that's the only one i really really liked all the other ones are kind of eh. so let's 
see what else is in here. All right, since it is powered by Funko, we do have a Funko in here. Not just little Funko? <laughs> That's a big Funko. And it is a Marvel exclusive, and it is Angel. Ooh, that's kind of neat. So, yeah. And on the back, real quick, it looks like you can get Angel as well as Archangel. There's Archangel, Cable, Quicksilver, Psylocke, Sabretooth, and Storm Mohawk. So, ooh, he's a bobblehead. <laughs> he's got bobble his wings off. He does, and then he's got a little stand so that... Luckily, this one does not go up Main Street. <laughs> it goes in his back, so we we're, we're going to sever his spine. And now he flies. Look at him nice. flying. That looks good, too. I really like that. Now, when did he... Do you know when he got this outfit? Because I did read the X-Men from the beginning, and I stopped somewhere mid-60s because they were really boring. <laughs> I, and he did not have the red outfit. I want to say that this was when he was in X-Factor. Okay. But future Tom will have to take a look at that. Uh, I might be thinking of a different outfit in like, X-Factor. <laughs> I like Archangel better. Not his emo-ness, <laughs> but I like his outfit. And he just seems cooler as Archangel. He his does outfit really was cooler. Cool. I like the metal wings where he can fling wings at you. I didn't like how emo he was. Or is. I don't know if he's dead. I don't know if he's dead in the Marvel world. Everybody's dead and they're not dead. So there's him. And then we have one more in here. <clears throat> this is from Rock Candy. And I've really been uh, liking these. I've been starting to collect a bunch of these. And it is my favorite Phoenix. Nice. This so is Dark Phoenix, though. They had your number with this one. <clears throat> they did. I think I'm, I've am i been leaning a lot more towards liking Dark Phoenix more than just regular <laughs> Phoenix. She just looks totally cool. And I mean, look at the detail of her. She's really neat. I mean, like her hair is all like fiery flaming out. She's got this like saunter walk to her with her flames around her hand and her little belt is just flying in the wind and she does come with a stand <clears throat> which i'm glad for so she doesn't fall over but yeah she is just going cool. she's a bubble they love their <laughs> bubbles cool. i think this is my first rock candy that's been a bobble though because i i think so I've because all the others seem like they're just statues Although my Batgirl, my uh, bombshell Batgirl, does not like her stand, and she does this on her stand. <laughs> I have no idea why, but she really wants to fly away as Batgirl. Well, she is very cool. This I really is. think they did a great job they with her. They did do a really awesome job with her. And then the last thing that is in there is the little card to tell you everything that you could get. And you could only get Archangel, so it wasn't like... Angel. Mm -hmm. Or not Angel. Archangel, Angel, rather than, other than the other ones that... Okay. This one is an exclusive, so probably the others in the line are available, like, in stores. Well, that'll be good, though. Yeah, so you can go look for them and everything. And then the next one in March is going to be Captain Marvel. Ooh. So I'm on the fence about that one because I have I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. haven't really read any Captain Marvel anything, so I don't know. And it's... so we'll see. Oh, now I've got a devil and an angel on my shoulders. So... Maybe... Maybe you should get the next box just to see how uh, cool Captain Marvel stuff can be. But what if I don't like Captain Marvel? That's right, Captain Marvel. What a joke. It's all about Phoenix. Cancel it. Cancel it now. That's true. I'm not really into Mohawks all that much. Mohawks are kind of stupid. Mohawks are cool. It's from the 80s. All that stuff's coming back. Don't you want to be retro? No, you've got like a 90s haircut going on. I didn't like the 90s either. <laughs> I got it after Dawson's Creek. <laughs> you do kind of look like James Vanderbeek. <laughs> well, could... I don't want to wait for this line to be over, so... Well... <laughs> it's just you and me now, baby. I'm cool with that. <laughs> so, um, to answer your next question, that's probably going to be... They did not do anything in the box. Nothing in the box. Nothing in the box. So, I kind of like this 
crazy. This was a fun one. Um, some of the stuff I could take or leave, like, you know. <laughs> I mean, I do. Notebook. It is funny. I mean, at least we got like a, you know, a set. Right. I got a pen and a notebook, so you know that's that's handy. If I was going to conventions, it might, you know, be fun to jot down some notes or something. Um, the socks are adorable. I love the socks. They're very cute. Um, obviously, I love my Phoenix. <laughs> And Archangel, or Angel, I always want to call him Archangel, I think, because that's the one I like the best. But, uh, yeah. They're fun. They're really neat. What? Oh, oh, oh. I thought everyone went for Scott Summers, not Warren. <laughs> he did have a crush on Jean Grey, though. Who didn't? Xavier <laughs> had a crush on Jean. true. Of course, so, Xavier could uh, have his way with her and no one would know, including her. terrible. <laughs> so, you think that they did good with this one, but you're still on the fence I'm, for the next one. I am just because of the subject matter. Mm -hmm. Because it's one of those things, I haven't seen the movie because it'll, it'll come out at the same time. So it's like, I'm afraid if I watch the movie and the movie's cool, I'll regret the box. But I liked Venom movie, but I don't regret not getting the Venom box. Okay. I'm not upset about missing out on that box because I wasn't on, I was on the fence with the Venom box so I didn't get it. Alright, well, sounds like we don't know if we'll see the next yeah, one. Yeah, so there may not. be a March one or there may not be a March one. Who knows? <laughs> well, nerdlings, as always, if you happen to like the video, definitely leave a like and uh, leave some comments on any of this stuff. What do you think about yeah. skinning beasts just for uh, some footwear? And Why don't you play devil and angel and try to convince me that I should get it because Captain Marvel is awesome or tell me, no, don't waste your money because Captain Marvel's stupid. <laughs> so who are you going to be? Yeah. But uh, leave some comments on what you think of these two and any of the other stuff in the box. And uh, because after all, if you do not subscribe and hit that notification bell, you won't know whether or not she goes for the Ms. Marvel or the Captain Marvel. Yeah. Because Ms. and Captain. I know, that is so confusing. I'm always confusing Captain and Ms. Marvel? You need to get your stuff. What about Marvel Girl? <laughs> All right, there it leads. What else can they do? Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for pictures and where we are and if something has dropped and just, just media. Just media. <laughs> just the media. Just media. I think the X Men. <laughs> have messed with our brains. <laughs> so Don't forget, we have merchandise over on Tee Public. We want to see those shirts on you guys. So when you get your shirts, send us pictures. <laughs> All right, nerdlings. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Well, the question is, do you nerd for oh, X <laughs> I was I figured ready to introduce this first. Okay. She's got a nice little booty on her. Like a saunter booty.